All right. Uh, hey, guys. I'm an album cover. And I'm Mr. Popo. And uh, we're bringing this game to you from the High Five Invitational. This is the first game that we're going to be recording. And uh, <laughs> we've uh, got a little banter there about uh, Leroy Jenkins they were talking about before. Uh, and actually, album cover, I think... I- I just showed him the Leroy Jenkins video uh, this first time. You want to? Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> I had no idea what they were talking about. So after the game, uh, I talked to Popo, and he showed me the video, and now I just can't stop quoting it. Thumbs up, guys. Let's go in. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> Vapor there. Uh, so now, now you you know Vapor in person, right? I don't. Yeah, yeah, I know him. He um actually he's been playing longer than me. He he had the beta, uh, and actually let me borrow his beta key. Um, when I didn't have any other way to play. I'd go over to his house and play StarCraft 2. Yeah, I didn't have any other way to play either, and I didn't have a friend with the beta. So it was, <laughs> I was a pretty lame week or so. Okay, now this is interesting. This is something that Axel, uh, I've talked to him, uh, and Popo's talked to him before, and this is something he is a staple of his play. He goes um, an, an extractor um, before pool. Before anything, and he doesn't put And he doesn't drones put drones on it. On it. Yeah. <laughs> but I've talked to him, and uh, he said that he does that because he's always afraid he's not going to have enough gas. Yeah, all, all he told me was that he just loves him some Vespin, but <laughs> apparently not because no one's getting any. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so uh, I didn't finish explaining. This is game two, actually, in a series of three. Um, in this tournament, it's double elimination, but uh, for each elimination, it's best two out of three games. So this is the second one. Axel took the first game. It was a pretty good game. Um, but I really like what Vapor's doing here. He's going for two gate. Instead of before, he just went one gate. Now remember, guys, we're we're pretty newbie players, um, and so you know don't don't expect these expert builds here. So yeah, he had you know just one gate, and uh, it just he couldn't get enough forces on the ground fast enough. And I'm glad we have that one drone. Yeah, well, no, that's oh, two, two, okay. two. He's uh he does love him some Vespin because he's getting some now, uh, and yeah and uh no vapor still hadn't got any although he is warping in his assimilator um he is going uh two gate like uh like popo said grabbing this extra pylon and using the chrono boost um doing a pretty good job on uh you know the harvesters uh he could he could use a little bit more but um go, okay going straight for the cybernetics course so maybe we could see uh um so a lot of stalker action um i personally love stalkers in blink i think that's just the bee's knees right there. Yeah, and it's also probably worth noting that neither Album or I play Protoss very often, <laughs> except for uh, in the first round of this tournament, we played against each other, and we've been playing random, and uh, it was pretty much whoever got Protoss lost. Lost, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so if I, you know, I click on this and say, oh, well, yeah, this this mothership here is not really doing anything, you know, forgive me, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I am not the best with Protoss. Um, I do good to know... Uh, to tell one pylo from another pylon, um, <laughs> so pylo. I uh, know pylo's dead. Get over it, Popo. Uh, here comes some zerglings. What were they up to? Okay, uh, they're just probably scouting around. Yeah, we got two zerglings here. Um, and if you notice this map, um, you've got on one side you do have a very, I would say, a very wide uh, ramp right here, and in the, at the back you've definitely got a backdoor, a destructible debris, debris here um, with an ex- uh, expansion here, and then another just super huge ramp. So definitely, um, it's it's not easy to keep uh, an expansion uh, to get right, one oh. real soon. Here comes some zerglings now. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, and it's just four right now. So I really think he's going to be okay. He's got these two um, zealots here. Oh, he's going I, for the mineral line. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And okay. He just ran straight for the zealots. Okay. And Bad plan. <laughs> Bad plan. Go for the workers. Bad plan. Not the zealots. I do know enough about Protoss to know that zealots do bre- beat zerglings one on one. Is he taking down the rocks? Um, no. Oh, no. What's happening? I heard something shooting. Okay, never mind. All right. Um, we've got some more zerglings right here, looking like they are going to be possibly going for these backdoor rocks here. Um, and it's interesting. It's of worthy note to notice that Vapor did go uh, with a forge, and he's going to go uh, getting some photon cans here to protect against. Uh, anything like that happening um, in the future. However, these Zerglings are not going the back door. They're just going straight up the same ramp they've used before. Straight for the Zealots again. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's got them outnumbered. So, yeah, uh, but there go the cannons. Yeah, yeah cannons that's... and two stalkers. Yeah, I really like these cannons. Uh, in the last game, he really suffered from mineral har- uh, harass a lot. And so I think I think those cannons are going to play a big role. Yep. And if we can look at the resources uh, lost... Um, 
Axel has has lost, you know, four times as much. Uh, but I'd say at the same time he does have vapor kind of definitely holding in his base, uh, building. I think uh, I think that's a little bit too many cannons. Someone's at Vapor's house. Paul is and at it's Vapor's Paul. house. <laughs> that's actually, um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm good friends with Vapor in real life, and uh, <laughs> yep, I know who it is. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> yeah. All right, so going for this robotics facility, um, hopefully getting, yep, there it is. Very good uh, immediate uh, observer. That's something that I really do like about Protoss. It's it's really good to, to have scouts. Oh, what are all those? You just spawned a whole bunch of uh uh, Roach? No, oh, the eggs. Uh, no. let's say uh, Zerglings. More Zerglings. Uh, sorry, he's not spreading the creep much. No, and that's something I think, you know, 47, 48 uh, energy, uh, he could definitely stand to do. Um, he, You know, especially uh, if he's going to expand, he's going to need that creep highway in between the bases. Um, and looks like, yep, he is going to expand. So if he had done a, a little bit better job early on getting some of this creep out here, um, it, it'll be certainly easier to defend that. Let's see, how are they doing on their mineral count? I see uh, Zerg's got about 200. Yeah. Uh, Protoss about 200. So they're, they're doing pretty good. Not bad. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and a Stargate. All right. Uh -oh. So, okay, and a couple of mortals. Um, and at this point, I don't think Vapor has seen the roaches um, that uh, Axel is uh, massing up. So uh, maybe some good game sense there. Uh, and two more come pop out here. Uh, that queen still needs to be spreading the creep. And uh, what's that he's got upgrading there on the roaches? Uh, on the roaches, he's got the tunneling claws. Okay, ah. so we could see very interesting... And there's the creep. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> there's the creep. Um, and looks like he's already researched burrow. So we can see some interesting uh, hidden attack roach um, attacks. <laughs> it's going to be tough against the cannons, though. That is very true. And he's already seen the cannons, so that's, that's an interesting... Interesting choice there. Maybe he's just doing it for map control. I'm not sure, but yep, here comes. Ooh, that's some nice lining there in the background, or sparks. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Oh, I just. Yeah. And uh, yep, so uh, Axel knows that there, he's not expanded here, and hopefully he'll come down here and attack these rocks, because uh, that's I think what he needs to be doing right now. Yeah, definitely. Those those uh, for Zerg especially, you you want to be able to run your your lings in and out all over the place. Up oh, and he's got void rays coming. Now I do oh, know son. I do know that Vapor really enjoys his void rays. Uh, that's a, I would almost say a staple of his play. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him get uh, several void rays out. And yep, he goes straight for these rocks, which is exactly what he needs to be doing. Yeah, it looks like those roaches are going back there too. Yep. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Might have called that one wrong. Uh, but let's see, how many roaches is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Ha! Popo's faster at counting than I am. I just doubled the six. I saw six, <laughs> there were two, plus four. All right, and these, oh, these immortals are... Okay, and he burrows, so uh, good thing Where's, you already have that upgraded. Where is that yeah, observer? Yeah, the observer, where is it? Up. Uh, oh, that's boy. here. Let's see how long Still, that's... There he goes. Up. Okay, go! <laughs> go, observer. Go! Oh, no, he's going to go for the expansion. Uh, I don't know if Cancel I would have done that. Cancel it. Oh, okay. Cancel. Not gonna, not gonna attack it though. Mm. Just gonna. Watch uh, it. Uh, 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 oh, okay. I think he canceled it. I think he canceled it. Is that what it looks like when you cancel? I don't I know. Think, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Protoss masters in action, and he's just. He's. I mean, he's standing right over these units. He needs this observer. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, production. Uh, those roaches are gonna want to go. Uh oh, they're trying nope. to get away. Nope. No. What? what? Uh, take I a couple free shots. Snipe the, uh, snipe Immortals, the Immortal, I guess. yeah. That's not gonna happen. No, but I mean, he did. I don't know. Not really any damage because um, <laughs> he didn't take. His, okay, he, he did see the the uh, the void ray though, so that's good. And there's the observer. Okay. All right. And, and we're gonna have some toasty. Oh, what? run away! Run no. away! They're underground. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh, I no. guess he's waiting for the other void ray. The roaches can't attack air anyway. I have no idea what that was about, but Axel just saved himself. Okay, maybe back to rocks. Okay. I don't know, maybe. Um, all right. I bet, and, oh, okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, blocks that uh, <laughs> robotics bay, robotics... Uh, the upgrade deal. Uh, yeah, it's uh, for Colossi. And, oh, these... Oh, gosh, these... Um, <laughs> the words are escaping me right now. The cannon did go down, but this is... Not but, a successful attack. No, all those uh, Zerglings uh, does not equal 150 for this cannons. Yeah. I mean, I, I like putting the pressure on. That's good. Um, but He should have just done a run by. If he, if he was really committed to that attack, he should have tried to do something that is really going to have an effect more than just wasting 150 minerals. Yeah. 
Although this is <laughs> this is good right here because he can't expand while these while uh, these roaches are here underground. So I don't know why he doesn't. Uh oh, hydralisks. Now yeah. I love hydralisks. You are, are all about you some hydralisks. I am all about the hydralisks. Let's look at the income. All right, so Axel is doing better. Uh, he's up five um, harvesters. Um, so I mean, he's got a pretty good response for the void rays. I yeah, think, I feel. I do. Yeah, because I mean, he's got these just burrowed. He'd be in bad news if that observer, observer came over there, especially with these void rays. But doesn't seem like Vapor's going to do that. Um, no, I, th I think he's. This is a bad idea. He should have his roaches and his hydras together, uh, so those roaches can take some damage. Well, here comes the observer, but it is again going away from the roaches. <sighs> I think he must have just lost track. I think he he thought they must have just buried and ran. I guess uh, so. I guess so. Not what happened. Um, all right, what do we have here? Another yeah, photon cannon and robotics bay. All right, so we could see Colossi. Now, see, I don't. He just moved his his guys there. Is that just good game sense? Does he just feel I don't, like they're they're coming in? I don't know. Yeah, because there's no way he saw these um these uh, hydralisks. Yeah. So and we've got some more coming here and some more roaches. Okay. Now he does. So uh oh. Up. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. He sees them. He has found uh, them, and those void rays are going to make sure work. Yeah. But Ooh. his army is out of place. Position. Oh. And but the hydras are just sitting there. The hydras are, are not not going to come in. Those three are going to come in. I think. That little that little Congo line. Oh, that's roaches, and they're not even on attack. They're oh, just no. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, we got five oh, kills. Distance mining five probe. kills. Zero. Yeah, One, the observer two. has zero. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> Hero observer. Uh, no. Okay, oh, and here the hydras. All right, taking out that uh, robotics bay. Um, for any confusion there that I had earlier. Oh, uh, okay. If he could take out these void rays, this I feel is like be close. I feel like that's what he needs to be aiming for, but no, I don't think I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't think. No. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, so close. There goes one void ray. Uh, oh man. no. Good try. And units lost. Um, uh, Vapor is still is still ahead. Uh, he's got all these cannons out here. Uh, so these. Oops. Now he's still on one base. What's? Uh... He is. And and <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> Just noticing the rocks are gone. <laughs> Uh, and an interesting note, Vapor actually did pick this map uh, because he lost the, f the first game and he got his, his choice of uh, maps. Um, so maybe maybe uh, research the maps a little bit better there, Vapor, next time. But um, This is such a, a random map. Like I, Neither of us had ever heard of it. It's like, it's like, sh uh, like Ship World. It is World Ship. You were close. I actually had to write it down so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean... Even I was going to be like Starship and I was like, no, okay. Even though Vapor is on um, two... two ba I mean, I'm sorry. Even though Axel is on two bases, he's not really doing anything with it. He needs a lot uh, more drones there at his expansion. Uh, getting a few this drone kills fun. here. Yeah. He needs to get that expansion going. He does. Oh, and this is not going to fare well at all. No, he's just going to eat up these little zerglings. But, I mean, uh -oh. I feel like... He's he's trying to do a two pronged attack. His timing is just about a minute off. So <laughs> just you know a minute. Just a minute. So yeah, and he's got he's got more hydralisks here. Um, he's getting a few more drones, but I just uh, I feel like he should get some spore crawlers. I think that would probably be. I don't know. I think that's probably a good idea. All right, so he does snipe the warp warp gate, but at the cost of pretty much all his uh, hydralisks because yeah, I mean, they're, they're just getting eaten up. Units lost. I mean, it's it's 2,400 uh, minerals. is lost more than vapor. So even though vapor is kind of hold up, he's got whew, huge bank here. Um, he can almost oh a fleet beacon. Are we gonna see a mothership? Ah, oh, son. I I know enough about uh, <laughs> Protoss to know that the mothership kicks butt and take names. Takes names. Gosh, English is so hard sometimes. Um, and drones finally coming down here. Uh, I think that's that's what he needs to do. Although you know you can tell how, how pro we are. Um, you know the caliber of, of people in this tournament. You know thirty harvesters, twenty two harvesters. You know you look at some of the the pro gamers in there. Um, you know sixty harvesters, seventy eighty harvesters, and so.